Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a uh, little outlook in uh, the future of Windows. Uh, very interesting week last week with uh, Terry Meyerson which is the head of the Windows team uh, stepping down and uh, actually going away. And it's um, actually creating an interesting outlook. Um, we are looking at how they are reorganizing at Microsoft the different divisions. And one of the things that we see is that the uh, device division and the Windows division are getting split. And the Windows division is now called um, Windows Experience. And it kind of points, and when you start reading, um, there's a lot of uh, interesting uh, little notes in um, the Satya Nadella post also talking about the reorganization which kind of lets us see a interesting and maybe not great future for Windows. Uh, it's very difficult to really see the extent of what's going to happen. But, you know, we're in three years now into Windows 10. We're about to get version 18.03 or Spring Careers Update. Uh, and what we see is that the future of Windows is not necessarily the future of Windows like it is now. One of the things that people think when they talk think about Microsoft is always Windows but Windows has become over the time a very small chunk of what Microsoft does uh, small enough now that even though Microsoft is not gonna kill Windows right now it's actually thinking of how it's going to reorganize Windows in the future so that is the question mark exactly what is going to happen um, there is some talk that eventually in some future, how many years we don't know, uh, Windows could simply be something that you have as a subscription for those that really need it, but would not exist as a operating system as we use right now. So we don't really know exactly what's going to happen with that future. Um, one thing for sure is that you know we're getting close. Terry Meyerson said we're getting close to 700 million PCs with Windows 10. It's still a really big chunk. It's really, really, really huge when you think about it. But when you think about the fact that um, you know iOS, iPads, and iPhones have passed the billion mark, uh, Android is past the two billion mark. You see that Windows is less and less of an option uh, for a lot of people. And that is why, partly why, the future of Windows is um, kind of interesting. What what's going to happen starting from now? You know, three years ago, Microsoft was ask was saying that you know by mid 2018 would have a billion devices running Windows 10. We're short by 300 million. It's not that much, but of course it worked on the fact that the Windows Phone would have worked, which is something that didn't work. Um, so what's the future for Windows? That's going to be an interesting uh, outlook that we're going to have to you know, look into all the little details in the years to come as um, it seems that maybe Microsoft is not as interested anymore in moving forward with Windows, which kind of you know tells us that Windows 10, as Microsoft has always said, was the last version of Windows. And it kind of tells us, well, maybe it is the last version of Windows for real. And to some extent, maybe it will at some point just end. I don't know. We're still far off. We're still a few years away. But there, for the first time, I think, since Microsoft introduced Windows, it is something that we are kind of thinking that maybe the end of Windows could arrive at some point. Uh, that's going to be something to look at and um, something to look for the future. So what do you think about Microsoft Windows. Does it have a future? Why not leave your comments and suggestions? If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.